Hi everyone, how's it going? Uh, before I start, I'm gonna go ahead and thank, uh, Throwback, multi Meman, Mr. Tom 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 Tom, Coiled Snake, Hell Demon, and Carriger for the follows. I appreciate all of you. How is everybody doing this morning? Hope you're all having a lovely day. Okay, so this update... The patch notes were literally just added a new episode to the story and added a new abnormality battle, and that was it. There was nothing else there. Normally there's a lot of patch notes and stuff, but today, no, they're just telling us what they added. Volume is a little low? Is it? Is it low for- are you talking about my voice? Because I'm still not using my good microphone. Anyways, yes, how's it going everybody? I'm seeing a few new people in here already. Hello, Bun Book Leaf. I'm thinking about a cast stream, and here we are. Oh? <laughs> okay, well, we found it. I, I figured it was going to be cheesed at. Because why would they give us more Gabura? Voice is a bit silent for my taste compared to the game volume. Uh, I can give myself... I can't be, like, super loud, because I'm in the apartment now, but I can turn my voice up a little. What are we doing first? Well, we have to do the story first, because I can't... I don't have a Book of Warp cleanup agent or Rose. Uh... <laughs> so, yeah. I have everybody set up. Though, I did make a lot of changes to their setups as well. I say do the Abno first, I can't. <laughs> so that means... We're here. All it takes is the book of a puppet. <laughs> Those were words, yes. Your subscription notification is broke? Well, according to Streamlabs, I didn't get a subscription. Here, let's test it. Nope, it's not broke. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty good damage. Yeah, W Corp does seem to be after us, which I expected. Maybe not this soon, but yeah. Whew, warp is quite difficult. Okay. We haven't seen more from our corp. Uh, Countess, you were already subbed? 
so it won't display until the 30 days rolls around. They're pretty easy, but they can fuck you up with bad RNG. Okay. Well, that's the same with any fight, basically. They are shocking. Uh-oh. <laughs> Train has arrived. They actually look really cool. <laughs> Here it's worse with RNG? Like, worse than the Index Prozolites? Are you sure? Yeah, WCore employees, I guess. Also, that logo is sick. Rose equals blue Gabura. <laughs> yeah, it, it's probably because you were gifted one. Yeah. Yo, base, how's it going? How was work? In Kersar, how's it going? Well, you're in the right place, because uh, I'm streaming it. <laughs> it will be available at the terminal in 10 minutes. Quick, let's get moving. Let's see what kind of mess it got into this time. Sen. Oh, piss. Now I need to change someone's name. <laughs> You'll know how bad that RNG after reading passives. All right. I really hope it's n anything like last time. All the passengers were still sitting in their seats, clasping their hands together. And Lesty, who I don't... I'm assuming that's a girl. Send you backstabber. <laughs> Are they going to find Love Town? Probably. L Corp didn't, did have agents, but they didn't really do anything outside of the company. Look at her in the next art. Okay. <laughs> you said that's an extremely uncommon occurrence, though, right? Yep. They usually do arts and crafts with each other's organs and shit. You've probably seen the educational footage, but you'd better be prepared, noob. <laughs> Alright. Don't worry about W Corp employees. They're trained for this sheet. Well, I'm sure they are. Just had to untangle my earphones. How'd that happen? I don't know. I don't think I'll ever want to take a warp train in my life. Even if they let you forget all about it. No thanks. Knowing what happens absolutely kills the deal for me. Hey, we're all ready. It's time to start the cleanup. Open up. Fresh meat. Just follow the manual. Remember the procedures. This one's pretty typical. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Ew. The stench is so strong even with my mask on. It feels like it's physically stinging my nose. Yet yeah, she is... I don't know what... what is this a hammer? <laughs> You think they have flamethrowers? No, but they could probably use them. Hello. You're still alive, right? Hmm. The flesh is spread thin in an attempt to maximize the surface area. The subject is determined to feel as much pain as possible. This one would classify as a suicidal. It's a spear. Got it. Oh god, pierce damage. <laughs> this is apparently pretty difficult, but how many of those inc incidents were called Love Town? Hmm? Yeah, you don't want to burn the passengers. You want them to be alive. Oh, you're pretty good, ain't ya? A lot of newbies can't help but puke or faint on the first field job, even with the help of educational footage. Because she's from District 23. There's a lot of mention of District 23. Hello, Joel. How's it going? Good morning. Or the darkness. How's it going, darkness, as well? Yeah, it's the same district that Gabura was from. Can't say I've seen worse, but I'm used to seeing this level of grotesque things. Now, now, cleanup agents, identify the genomes in your designated carriages and place the passengers back in their seats. Gross. Look at that mushy eye still rolling around. I can never get used to this. I wonder how long I'll be doing this work. He said cleanup agents go through a memory erasure period. 
You said cleanup agents go through a memory erasure procedure and get their retirement fund when they quit, right? You seriously buy that crap? You should know something's up, especially since you're from the back streets. You mean that's a lie? They'd probably drag you to some dark room and kill you without anyone knowing. Alright, Sen. How they put them back together? Did they just clone them? Probably. <laughs> Whoops, don't tell anyone I said this. My employee review results weren't too good this time around. You know I was just kidding, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll consider keeping quiet if you buy me dinner. How about some gopchang jiao? I don't know how to say that. <laughs> I heard thud. I did too. It was that loud? Thank you for the follow, Carcer. I appreciate it. Gut roast. Oh. Gop Chang, you eat beef tripe? Rose, I'm starting to get scared of this newbie. Is that true? <laughs> gotta do some work. Work, sort out the genomes. And I just gotta put them in the right seats, correct? Yep, just put them in the seats and they'll be restored. Good as new. Sen, Lesty, stop your work immediately. We're going back to the office. What? Passengers have gone missing? Hey, keep it down. I don't want anyone else to hear that, Dig. <laughs> what is his dialect? <laughs> How many tummaries that they do with? Probably none. Just use flex tape to put the passengers back together. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We ate the Tomary for them. Okay. This room is in maximum security anyway. It's not just any passengers. The one in first class seats have disappeared. The higher ups are gonna give us have a headache over this too. He just has an axe. What a scrub. First class passengers disappearing is already a significant risk, but we've also lost some time. The time quota wasn't fulfilled. Warp Corp has never had a single incident ever since it became a wing, hasn't it? Gee, I wonder what went wrong now. Oh. The engineers are investigating it for now. Take a look at this first. I am doing all the voices, yeah. He must be good with that hatchet. Yeah, he literally just made them. Also, shout out to this guy who was in the background of the Tomari fight. <laughs> they had cameras! Of course they had cameras. Oh, this must be the camera that only records important moments based on the emotional flex of people nearby. I saw it in an educational footage. Ugh, what's up with that? Did people merge into one at some point? Those guys look like doctors. They're stitching bodies together so precisely. Hey, Michael. Damn, head me fool. <laughs> A pity to clean up agents who'll have to tear them apart. That entity possesses extreme physical strength. Sixteen of our agents were killed by that thing alone. Love town. They made a town for themselves too, huh? Just make a camera that's record everything. It'd record 2,000 years of footage. How would you ever get through it? These sound effects, though. <laughs> the doctorish duo must have been the anchor of the town. The townsfolk are all crying since they're gone. How did they get off the train, though? Check this out. 
It's footage of the first class carriage. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna scream because I'm in an apartment, but. <laughs> Let's have a computer to highlight persons of interest, yeah. Must have had fun adding these sounds or something. <laughs> ah, the screams of the damned. How nice. Do you know who I am, Brett? Do you? I'm a board member of U Corp. What is U Corp? Has that been mentioned before? That <laughs> doctor had a field day. <laughs> who sent you? Who's behind this? <laughs> who could it be, I wonder? <laughs> Must be the invisible strings that are doing all this. He's stitching the flesh of living people. And putting strings in them. The heck is that guy? Got any contact from Hana Association? Is that a syndicate or what? No U Corp. <laughs> Just, there are 27 wings? I thought there were 26. That seems to be the one called the Puppeteer. Looks like he has quite a reputation in the back streets. Undertale Corp? Umbrella Corp? I don't think it's Umbrella Corp. There are no zombies yet. Uninstall Corp? <laughs> Conserve things like Roland Spajan. <laughs> What's his grade? Urban Nightmare. But he just laid hands on VIPs, so he'll be exalted to star of the city in no time. And here. The one next to him is Blood Red Knight. She's a former star of the city that was shot down some time ago. Okay. So now we know that Ellen is more dangerous than the puppeteer. Probably. And she's called the Blood Red Knight. This is gonna get... I mean, she made Tomary. Of course she's OP. No, this is like the fifth star. There was... The Eight Chefs, the Prescripts of the Backstreets. Oh yeah, I guess it would be the third one. I thought we had more than that. No, I don't think she's a colored fixer because it starts with blood red, not just red. Pianist was, I think, only urban legend when it got taken out. I could be wrong about that. Maybe it was urban play, something like that. Wait, is it possible for a star to come back after being shot down? Hell if I know. Why did they have to take the train where in charge and do all that? It was nightmare? Okay, fair enough. Star of the City is the rank above Urban Nightmare. We're fucked is what this chapter is saying, pretty much. Most importantly, check this part out. The first class passengers. No, puppets as designated by HANA Association. You can see those puppets sign a piece of paper here, yeah? Oh, they really are. They're writing their names on a gorgeous looking piece of paper. And they just disappeared? Whoa, what? Ain't that a real teleportation? This is the very same kind of paper they signed off on. Um, are you actually gonna... Rose, please give us a break. We're signing this paper as well. This is the so-called invitation from an urban nightmare dubbed the library. <sighs> <laughs> I struggled and worked like a dog in District 23, and I barely made it into the swing. It's the orders from up top. No choice but to follow them. We'll bring a few cl other cleanup agents with us to the library. Dude, what if we refuse this order? Then we're fired. Oh no, she's crying. <laughs> yeah, uh... According to the in-game lore, Star of the City is something that only colored fixers are really good at dealing with. Great, more people I feel bad for. 
Yeah, she is actually crying. Like, she doesn't want to do that. At this point, the library is very well known, and nobody who's gone into it has ever come back out. Except for San. Of course. But, you know. <laughs> it's like the next one is a star. Okay, Jojo. <laughs> Philip did make it out, that's true. He escaped too. And Lulu at one point. Those three are the only ones. So it really wasn't a malfunction. Those crooks at W Corp, they knew everything. God damn it. I took warp trains a couple of times before. Oh no, Roland. <laughs> and no books have left. <laughs> Don't you remember anything that happened inside? Nope, not at all. All I can remember is admiring the marvels of modern technology after getting off the train. Uh-oh. Spoiler unknown. I have to look now. Oh yeah. There's Star of the City, and then there's also one after it. I knew that. And look at those employees. Following manuals, making jokes about it, taking care of flesh chunks so casually. Lobotomy Corp was no different. Still, it's rather intriguing to see another wing's mortifying secrets with my own eyes. I see that everyone is the same after all, doing detestable things simply because it's their work. I've been spoiled? How so? <laughs> I knew about that. I've known about that for, like, since the tailors. They can be apathetic about it because the suffering inflicted on others is none of their business. It's gonna be sick if we make a book out of this. <laughs> Imagine if this knowledge leaks into the world. I bet no one will ever want to use W Corp's trains anymore, yeah? Fuck morals, we got a job to do. <laughs> yep. Wish I would bleach my eyes. Why? Isn't making people suffer technically pure business? I mean, yeah. W Corp will gonna fuck up. Time to make a YouTube video about exposing W Corp. Roleg is canon. It happened when he last got on a warp train. Oh god. Which would make W Corp that much more desperate to retrieve it. I'd welcome that. I can learn even more about them that way. Up front is always our Miss Library Director. And I take pride in that. May I remind you that we killed an executive member of U Corp, also known as Weighty Puppet, probably? I mean, possibly. Yeah. Making money from suffering people is big brain moves. <laughs> For real? Yep. They made a whole ass kingdom on a train at one time. What? <laughs> Appointed each other as kings, knights, nobles, and whatever. A town is nothing compared to that. Treason and schemes were rampant. The kingdom fell into decline, and loyal knights made valiant efforts to save their failing country. Wow, what happened next? <laughs> Greetings, dear guests. Enough chit-chats, agents. Hey there, have the puppets been here recently? You mean the puppets from W Corp's first class passengers, correct? She's smiling as she says that. No, Rose, why? <laughs> yeah, the kingdom does sound better, but it does also sound like it went pretty bad. How much do you know, lady? They have, of course. And you may retrieve their books so that no one else could learn of that incident. If you fail, however... Other guests may obtain the books that hold the secrets of warp trains. W Corp would be totally screwed then? We're going in right now. May you find your book in this place. Oh, it's... Oh. <laughs> um... Mm. <laughs> Hang on. Also, okay, I can only have four librarians, of course. I need to 
so she's resistant to slash, stagger, and blunt damage. Of course she's a gold page. I'm not arguing with that. So, speed dice slot plus one. If speed is four or higher, deal 11 bonus damage on a successful hit at a 10% chance. And then on a successful hit, deal 10 bonus damage at a 10% chance. Um. <laughs> so she just has, like, a 10% chance to deal, like, 21 extra damage. Though part of that is halved. Sen and Lesty are going to be blue. That's fine. On a successful deal, deal 13 bonus stagger damage at a 5% chance. Ugh. Lesty. If the character did not use any page for a scene, gain one strength and endurance next scene. Ooh. I like that. Also, they have no weaknesses. But they resist slash, so I'm not going to bring Hod's team. Part of the dice, baby. <laughs> Edge of death, but every attack. Yep. The damage ignores resistance, too. Yeah, that's because it's an inflict, not an actual attack. And then... That's the normal one. Okay. Oh, Neko's library won't be ready for this. No, it will not. <laughs> it absolutely will not. Okay, let's see these attacks then. Oh, we got counter dice. Unuse gain to charge and restore one light. Charge affects the properties of certain combat pages. Up to ten charges can be stored at once. Hmm. This seems like a job for the Boundary of Death. Also, good morning, Jay. Mmm, brother. <laughs> Watch out, Cask. She's gonna punch you in the face. Yeah, I see that. Okay, so charge is gonna be a new status for this. Unused gain five charge. That's a really strong attack. And overcharge. Gain nine charge and become immobilized next scene. Whoa! <laughs> they're not that strong, but overcharge and their number gives you a pain. Yep. Have you done the Abno fight yet? No, I have to do this fight first. What the fuck? I guess Brawl plus overcharge would be pretty metal. Also, that attack is nutty for a 3 cost. That should be a 4 cost. Final Fantasy X, the linked system thing, but it's way different. Yeah, it's basically you're not allowed to attack next turn, but you get to launch off the most powerful attack in the game. <laughs> Old proper for this, here comes the pain train. <laughs> well, what about Lesty? Oh, we gotta... Oh. Oh, boy, that's a lot to keep track of. Hold on. Um... <laughs> On use, gain 3 charge, on hit, recover 2 HP. That's a really good defensive page. <laughs> and then Ripple. Use 3 charge to boost power of all dice on this page by plus 2. On clash, lose, add plus 2 power to the next die. On hit, inflict 2 bind next scene. That is a wide range. And then we've got an exclusive combat page. Rip space. Spend all charge as a charge times 9% chance to succeed. All dice on this page gain plus 6 power, and failure deal 20 damage to self. If 10 charge was spent at once, add plus 2 power. Um. <laughs> rewind or Flaming Bat? Probably Rewind, just because it has HP recovery. Uh, an energy cycle is just gain three charge for zero. <laughs> That's quite a strong zero cost. Thankfully, their AI is bad. I don't know if I trust that. And then Rose, finally. Has no other unique attacks. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> literally can't remember the last time I used Flaming Bat. Hey, Feet, how's it going, buddy? 
Yeah, 102 HP as well. And none of them have weaknesses, except these guys, which are weak to Pierce. Alright, well, Tifereth. <laughs> is anybody here weak to Slash? Yeah, Pat is. Actually, this would be a bad team. What about Netzak? Netzak's team would be alright for it. We fucked the Bay is good. Malkuth? Uh, I could bring Malkuth, that is true. That'd probably be best, honestly. Got a lot of bulk on Malchus' floor. Go for Ego. Yeah, I, I, I think Malchus' floor is probably the best choice. I'm not gonna bring it Lennox because he doesn't have battle symbols. So, Ego Pages, let's go. For real? No feet? I, I, I. <laughs> Stuck better it in, but this fight is gonna be so bad I'll be six feet deep in the ground. They look gorgeous on Chessed's floor. I hope so. I hope Chessed's floor is actually usable after today. Alright, let's go with the big squad. <laughs> Not as bad as those flesh globs, I guess. Whoa, this looks way bigger than what I saw outside. Focus both of you. Oh. Alright. They disappear way too fast now. Alright, let's see here. Predictable? <laughs> oh, god. They have no chill. At all. Cass, do you know my condition right now? No, I do not. Prescript AI? No, they're not. They're just randomly attacking. So, Pierce slash Pierce. It's actually okay if Malkuth gets hit by that, but it's gonna do a lot of stagger damage, or regular damage even. I guess we could just target this guy. The warp cleanup agents aren't gonna be as tricky. I need to deal with them fast, though. It fell through the ceiling. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry to hear that. Right side. That's not <laughs> what I wanted. Okay, we're gonna take out this guy first. Overcharge as a counter? Yeah. W Corp said, fuck Malky. <laughs> they really did. Um... Oh, and they're weak to Pierce, too, so this is cool. Got a good starting hand. Actually... Put that guy instead. Ugh, damage. Um... <laughs> I don't know what would even be good to block that with. I can't really block it at all. If I could redirect it to Mary, that would be fantastic, but I can't. Hold on. Do that afterwards. I just have to go to the daring decision. Um. I'm just gonna try and take out the guy in the bottom. Because I have a feeling I'm gonna suck if I don't start to get more than they have. This is really gonna be a difficult fight, honestly. Yeah, no. I'm just gonna take out the guy on the bottom. There, There's no point in targeting multiple enemies right now. W Corp to fall would probably exalt us beyond Star of the City. Oh, yeah. This is not a two-part fight. It's only one act. I don't know how many floors I got to use. I probably should check that. It's probably only one. Poor bottom employee. I mean, he signed up for this, so it's okay. Ugh, that's so powerful. Stop. Ow. Jesus.
And that's... Oh, I got a bad trash disposal. Cool. Staggered him. I think everyone's attacked, though. On my team, anyways. Alright, well, we need to finish him off. Oh, right, they're immobile. They're not staggered, they're just immobile. Okay, so every other team is gonna be... How long will we stream tonight? That's a good question. Depends on how long it takes me to finish this update. Uh... <laughs> so I need to kill the bottom guy, which shouldn't be hard. One to three, that's two to six. And then... That's six to twelve. I'm gonna have to hit him another time. That's okay. I wish they weren't all attacking me. Uh. <laughs> Flash of sun up, and then I'll puppet blockade just for the light. Ah, that's a bad hand. But okay. I mean, can I... I can potentially hit through Rewind once, but only once. I'm gonna get staggered here and there's nothing I can do about it, so... Did I actually kill that guy or am I stupid? I may have forgotten to kill the guy on the bottom. Uh, okay, I messed up. Oh no, she has 10. That means she has a 90% chance of being successful. Um, we might lose. <laughs> we actually just might lose. Thank you, Jay, for the subscription. It's nighttime for some people, yes. How late am I? Not very, we're still on our first attempt. You can't even do anything. Ah! Uh, <laughs> that crack of dawn and finish him off? Probably. Oh, Christ. Thank you, nothing there is there. <laughs> Follow. Um, painful. <laughs> None of them are... Oh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? <laughs> There's not anything I can do about that. block it? <laughs> this sucks. This really sucks. Actually. There's hardly anything I can do about this. I, I needed to... Ow. I needed to finish off at least one of them before... Stop. Please. I don't deserve this crap. It only really affects rip space for the looks of it. Um, okay. Well, this went poorly. All right. Yeah, this is really bad. <laughs> um. Uh, <laughs> you stop it. He's gonna get staggered. I mean, at least I got the books for the normal ones. <laughs> I guess I, it's not really a big consolation. She's immobile. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what did we expect from people that rip space? I mean, yeah. Okay. The enemy theme, because I... <laughs> yeah, rest in peace space. Like, that won't kill Jay. 
God, I hate that move. And she has three charge, too, so it's guaranteed to go off. Will I get staggered from it? No. But ow. Oh, balls. Really? <laughs> this is actually nuts. I hate it. I hate this. She has 10 charge. She's gonna get off a big attack. Uh. Well, this went badly. <laughs> Okay, sure. <laughs> there is a heal card buff card. It's called Tendon Cords. Um... <laughs> is this my first abnormality page? Why did I not draw any of these? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> it doesn't matter, I'm dead anyways. I can win that clash, but it's not going to do me much good. She's almost staggered, actually. Jay's... Win Corp versus Lose Corp. Alright. <laughs> sure. That's acceptable, I suppose. I'm dead this turn, no matter what happens. Yeah. Oh, she got the 10%. How are we gonna do this? <laughs> How are we actually gonna do this? Also, I only got two books. So, cool. get some pages. Uh, I will try Yisad next. Just place all golds on Malku. That's probably a good idea. Alright, so we're only gonna get overcharge, which is fine. Because I need it. <laughs> um, yeah, this is uh, gonna be a rough one. Let me... Hold on. Let me grab those pages so I can have them. Uh, killed only the jobbers. Yeah, we can't 5-5 five, five fight right now. Yeah, I know, that really sucks. I didn't have pages that were fatal to the damage, actually. I have no fatal weaknesses on any of these. The only difference was I was weak to Pierce Stagger, because, you know, but yeah, I'm probably going to have to run all golds on a floor in order to beat this. Why do they have to resist Slash is my question. Why do you have no combat pages? What? Okay, I swear I put combat pages on everybody. Did you ever get an Ego page? No, I only got one, uh... I only got one abnormality page, period, during that. So, hang on. Who has old, uh, Eugen's? You Who has Eugen? Where did I put this page? Is it on Keter? Yeah. And then I'll also grab Oscar. Um, which one has a bookshelf? This one does. And then, Jay, you're probably okay. Salvador's page doesn't seem like it's going to be as useful, so I'll just put Oscars on you.
Well, we can try again. Wait, all golds on Keter? That would be fun. That would actually probably be a better idea, if I think about it. Because those are good floor. We'll try it again on Malkuth. We have plenty of puppet books, so... We don't need to see this again. Alright, let's try it with all golds. Attack with this healing token was helpful. I can see that too. Alright, we should really take out the people who utilize the charge first, honestly. That would probably be a good idea. Hold on. I can I can deal with this. I, I just gotta faint memories on him. Why do you have to resist slash? Go. Uh, <laughs> like, I don't know. Good god. The the thing where they just randomly do more damage is very frustrating. That was a bad dodge. Okay. <laughs> it's the golden answer. Well, I don't have enough, uh... Oh my Christ! Don't I resist that? <laughs> you kinda have to just kill them as soon as you can. Ignore the ones that are recharging, probably. Oh. You're hitting me with dimensional rift. This, this is the attack that really scares me, is rip space, which honestly it should. Let's see, if they have plus six, Oh no, it's actually not a not as good of a success chance cuz she only has 5. Yeah. Well, let's operate under the assumption that it, she's going to win. So plus 6 would mean 8 to 10, 9 to 12. That can probably be beaten with Wrath of Torment, which in this case would be Four to ten? Is that right? Four to ten, four to ten, three to eight. It could win, but it probably won't. Maybe Repressed Flesh would actually be better here. Now that I look at it. Hold on, I want to clash with that. Hopefully that guy gets taken out. Ah, is this the cleaner trains? I should I bring some mops? <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, I'm getting mopped up myself currently. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Yui Shineng. If I pronounced that right. At Dongyul is it is the only answer. I I know I haven't been reading the chat too much. Uh, it's just really trying to win this. Two Oscar loadouts, a Singleton Oscar, and a Transpierce loadout. I have Transpierce on a Singleton loadout. Testing an overcharge with an Emma Wrath of Torment was terrifying. I can believe it. What are you gonna do? Because you only have two light. He won't die from this, will he? Just ensure that he is killed. Because honestly. Oh no, he'll die. I I over attacked. Whatever. Book of Sen obtained. That's the important thing. Oh my Christ! <laughs> he's on four health, which means he's dead. Um. For the prescript points, should I kill? <laughs> her next, maybe? <laughs> Actually, I should kill Westy next. She's already injured, and I can... Oh, wow, I hate my hand. <laughs> no, very net. 
and then I can overcome Crisis twice, I suppose. Uh, I can't save him, so I'm just gonna take out Lesty. Alright, this is pain. Yeah, we are really getting up there in the viewers. I appreciate it. Watch the viewer count. Uh, my viewer count is laggy. Right now it says I have 67 on Streamlabs, which is what I have on Twitch, too. Uh, I don't like paying a lot of attention to it, because then I feel like that's all I care about, and I don't want that to happen. So, if we can maybe take out Lesty this turn, then losing Jay is a good trade-off. But we do also... Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> that was a good roll. At least stun her. Okay, good. That way we can take her out next turn. Oh god, I, I'm never getting good... Uh, good pages. Um... I realize what I just did, but I need that HP gain. Okay, that I can beat. I could use tailoring on it. Um, it's important to finish her off. I'm gonna just win this clash. And then, let's see. I need to kill her somehow. That'll probably kill her. And then I can red notes against one of these guys. No, I want to... No. <laughs> I could Will of the Prescript... Malkuth hasn't even taken damage yet. Where's that going? Oh, God. Uh, This is gonna hurt. There's not much I can do about it, either. I mean, I could zap and reduce the damage I take, but that doesn't seem like a good idea. San, Sin, and now Sen. <laughs> At 69, we can check the viewer count. Yeah, it, it, it was at 70 at one point as well. I killed Rose first. Yeah, but I want her book. <laughs> if I don't get Rose's book, then I don't fight uh, Chesed's Abnormality. She should be dead. I'm pretty sure. Because she is fragile as well. So... At least I resist Pierce. This is gonna do a lot of damage to me. Maybe I should just, like, do that and then... This. Just, just to make sure that if I do get... No, it won't matter. I just realized. Will the priest... Yeah, just go for that. No. I'm very indecisive, if you couldn't tell. Do as much damage as possible, which would actually be Will of the Prescript. But, you know. Yep, she's definitely dead. Good. Book of Lesty obtained. Cool. This is gonna probably stagger. No, not quite. Okay, so we're in a good position. Poor Lesty, first day on the job and already getting booked. She deserves it. Okay, so you're immobile, so that gives me time to finish off these last two minions. And they're doing weak attacks, too. This is best case scenario right here. The bottom one is more likely to live. No, it's not. I don't know where I read that from. <laughs> Marionette, just distract him, red notes. I guess I'll use faint memory. Maybe I should just not attack. I'll just, whatever. <laughs> just deal damage, honestly. Oh no, he's dead. I shouldn't have used it. <laughs> it didn't matter. We tied on the dodge roll. Okay, ooh. <laughs> um, 
Where's the rip space? I can't. Damn it. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> they use overcharge even if they are already charged 10, probably? You milk it that enough of their shit, goddamn. I'm just gonna watch the re-upload on YouTube. My internet is wonky. All right, Kaido. See you later. Have a good day. Sun and sun. Clash rip space with tailoring. Uh, I would if I could counter it. Um, at the place I am now, it might be better to use transpires against it. That's an 81% success rate, though. It's not a plus ten two at the end, thankfully. No, I need to focus on this guy right now. So I will. Daring decisions more likely to win. I'm not gonna have zero pages in my hand, unfortunately. That should kill that guy, pretty sure. Er, it's gonna come close, it won't quite kill him. Ah, that's so much pain. 14? <laughs> I love display of affection so much. Did he really live on 5 HP? One stagger is this. Hey, Apelix, how's it going? Good morning. No remorse. The next hit will kill the top guy. but I do actually have to hit. <laughs> um, and then prescript point is a good one there. I can't clash with anything here. So probably not a good idea to attack, really. I mean, faint memories plus overcome, that's still going to do a decent amount, I'm sure. God. <laughs> she just kicked her. What the heck? Oh, I clashed. I wasn't expecting to. Oh, he's dead. Alright. So it took two tries. Jesus Christ, that fight was brutal. I have 100%, right? Yeah. Okay. So, oh my god. <laughs> Malkus. <laughs> Emotion level. New page looks neat, I agree. The build-up to getting Ego takes so damn long. Yeah, it's probably more meant to be used in multi-phase fights. That should be enough to finish her off. She had 10 charge as well. Uh, it only took using three gold key pages. I got three books of rose. That means I'm probably going to get her page. Hopefully. If this book does become available to the public, W Corp might face closure like Lobotomy Corp did. Though it would collapse in an entirely different way. I know this is an odd time to ask, but about the plan that took place in Lobotomy Corporation, the one that made you go through countless repeats. Was All Corp's disintegration part of it too? In a way. The finale of the plan was to share the enlightenment gained from that cycle with the people of the city, sacrificing Elcorp as a whole. Elcorp's insane suicide plan succeeded somehow, huh? No, the plan failed spectacularly, actually. I ruined it. What? But didn't the White Knights and Dark Days happen as a result of it? I never said the plan was a success, now did I? I only said it was over. What do you exactly mean by ruining it? Remember what I said about my creator? How he birthed me on a whim and renounced me when I didn't meet his arbitrary expectations? The sabotage was my modest little revenge on him for imprisoning me in the million year cycle of reciting the same script over and over underground and a small gift for myself. I couldn't bear to see his plan succeed with my own two eyes. That means the distortion might not have happened if the plan went through. Perhaps? There's no need for me to care so much about others in the city, no? You're right about that. What is it? 
warm-hearted woodsman. <laughs> oh yes, only white knights. Yeah. Okay, so we got the warm-hearted woodsman. I'm not gonna burn the books until after I do this. Also, you have to do the index fight as well. Yeah, I gotta gear up coffee team, which means I want this. Look, I know that I'm being cheap by using my strongest pages in every fight. But, uh, actually, hold on. Take, uh... Where is it? Yeah, take this one. Now that I think about it. And then Draken can have... Oscars, I guess. There, that should be good, right? This game looks tough. Do, you do what you have to... It is tough. I was not expecting a fight that was that hard. I don't... I'm going to admit right now, I do not like their passives. Having stuff that's legitimately just RNG, I don't really like. Like, when it comes to, like, Wedge, right? 75% chance to boost Pierce Dice Power by one. That's fair that it has a chance to fail. But, uh, like... But giving you a 10% chance to just deal 10 damage, this will happen soon, I'm sure. I never win an abnormality fight on my first try. It's not possible. Yes. Oh boy. Hey, by the way, I remember you being a pretty warm-hearted person. Yeah, I guess it still craves a warm heart to fill that void, right? This fellow's chest is hollow, I see. All right, let's see. Oh my Christ, hold on. At the start of the scene, if the amount of warm hearts is zero, the woodsman culls this character. Okay, then. This is gonna be fun. Kill the air, don't- Hey! Don't give me tips. <laughs> the art of the card on the trees? I will. Ah! Thank you, Sharpbite5, for the follow. I appreciate it. Yeah, this is an HE. This isn't going to be too bad, probably. Dense Forest. If the character has Warm Heart at the start of the scene, all librarians restore light to max. Okay. Still not enough. Each scene targets the character with the most light. Okay. Understandable. I want a heart. When attacking, all dice gain power equal to the amount of light the target has. Pulsing Ticker. Upon defeating another character, recover 20% of max HP and gain 3 stacks of warm heart. An empty chest. If the character has no warm heart at the start of the scene, become staggered. Okay. Help me. Um. <laughs> okay. So those are people. Imagine having light. Oh, welcome back, Joel. Wait, these are all block dice. Mm. <laughs> if the character clashing against this page becomes staggered, kill them instantly. Just hearing the sound of your lovely voice to avoid spoilers, but here, wishing you good luck on the new content. I'll try not to say the new abnormality's name too much, Neko. You really shouldn't be here if you don't want spoilers. Just clash with it. Without a heart, it can't move. It. You're right. Um. So let's see. I don't know how it actually gains heart to begin with. The tree passive? I get it. Okay. So, what happens is he'll kill these and gain more heart. I see. So I want to kill these, basically, and not allow him to have warm heart. I want to ensure that these do not survive. That should finish off the first one. 
Opportunity spotted? Oh, I should have adjusted this. Um... That tree is gonna be consumed, lol. Can't wait for the stuff after 5A2 to happen. I can't either. <laughs> Only tree grew's hearts on them. Don't worry, you can speak freely, just have you in the background mostly. That's okay, I did do the fight already, so you won't be spoiled on that. That tree's gonna be consumed. Killing trees is not worth it. Is it not? I mean, I could easily kill the trees. Also... Because it's going to have Warm Heart. What exactly... It re it recovers HP. Is I, don't, I don't freaking care. <laughs> I'm going to target the trees if I want to target the trees. Dang it. Wait, don't clash with that. <laughs> That's all my light back, which is what I wanted from that. Okay, I'm not gonna kill it turn one. Actually, this was a bad turn, then. I should have just full attacked it. Now it's gonna eat it. Yep. Okay. So here we go. On hit, game one warm heart. So I need to not let him hit me. Okay. Not let him hit me with do not take my heart. Which is easier said than done, actually. I can faint memories and that will cause him to not hit me with it. just have to win the third clash. Yeah, but it's the third one, so it's always going to be hard. If all trees are dead, he can't get hearts anymore, and I'm like 80% he perm staggered that, or he just blocks all the time. Yeah. Chad Woo's it's actually a typo in translation during clash he gains strength equal to the amount of warm hearts he gets. And H gets hearts by killing just in Levani Corp. He has plus three to max roll of all dice? I know. There's not much I can do about that. I just have to take the hits, really. Though all of them are slash damage, so if I took people that resist slash, that would be a good idea. Train? <laughs> Train, ladies and gentlemen? I'm, I'm going to try and take out the trees just to stop him from getting too many. Oh, Christ. Uh, thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. I forgot that that's a thing. Does he consume the buff? I don't know. Uh, oh. <laughs> I don't think this will help. Harvest is the stupid one. I don't know what I want to pick here. Break. That sounds a bit weird. RNG almost saves Kaz 101. Guess to try to steal one of his cards. The problem is I have to stagger him for that. I don't want to stagger him, if that makes sense. Okay. Oh, okay. So let that go through. Ah! What is that crap? Okay. I, I can't block these, because on Clash lose, lose, lose. Oh, I need to read better. I could Boundary of Death. I'm not going to, but I could. Uh, this, this is gonna be, this is gonna suck, actually. Mm -hmm. 
Th this entire scene is gonna be awful. Will that even kill? I don't know. I won't want to risk that. Go. Nice. <laughs> yep. Okay, just win two. That's all I want. Yep. Okay, tree is dead. That's good. I couldn't have stopped that. Honestly. This fight is cool. This fight is really cool so far. Okay, he still has Warm Heart. He has it for two more turns. I gotta finish off that tree before he gets to use it. Oh, hold on. I can make him lose a heart this turn, can't I? Er... Yeah, I, I have to clash with him to make him lose the heart, so... I don't think automated movements will win that. So, just do that. RNG just kills Cass? <laughs> no, it doesn't. I think we can get our librarian back by pulling them out of the Tin Man's chest, probably. For plus one power per light. I do remember Clever. Stop telling me. Six? Oh, I forgot I was inflicting bleed. Oh, that's not good. Oh well, I guess. I... Oh, Joel might die. That's not good. Sure. Sure, why not? Okay, it has one more heart. Oh, rip Joel. This is fine, because he won't gain any warm hearts this next scene. Though I do want him to hit somebody else with that. Uh. <laughs> Just ensure that guy dies. That's all I need. Mmm, rip. That's okay. That was the best I could do. And that tree should be dead. Rip Joel. Oh, wait, shoot. That's gonna give him a lot of hearts because he just killed somebody. Won't it? Yep, he has five now. Ugh, this sucks. This really sucks. You heart Joel wash the toad in the fountain too well. Yeah, I might need to retry this. Um, on Clash Lose. Screw this. <laughs> um, all right, can I, I can collision and then I can zap, <laughs> I guess. Go. That's the best I can do, really. Ow. Pain. Oh, rude. And he doesn't lose anything unless I... Fuck you. <laughs> Why? I can't redirect that one. Oops. Well, rip nutsack. Rip nutsack. I know it says he targets the one... Oh, piss. It says he targets the one with the most light, but Netzak had zero. So, yeah, this is a rip. Yeah, I'm just going to exit out of this. <laughs> Honestly. Hang on, I need to not bring things that are weak to Slash, definitely. Okay, so what all do we have that resists Slash damage? Mars's page... We have Seo's page somewhere. And then... <laughs> Cock. Yeah, I think you mean Cheese Dad. Uh... I should have updated this anyways, but Puppet 
isn't going to be as useful here. Oscar... Actually, no, Oscar's page is still fine, because he does a lot of damage. No Eugen. Of all things, Mars's page. Just for the slash resist. And then I also want Seo's. I have to put this together, though. Bleed strats are gonna be key, I think. Overcome. What other good slash attacks do I have? I have the Light Restore on cleanup. Cumulus Wall. Imagine a hundred bleed. I've not been fighting the man for an hour. I did the story battle first. Dodge encounter. Lies Bill, Lies Bill, Lies Bill? I can't do that on this floor. Um. Desperate Struggle is a good one. What's a good slash that's really strong? Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Um, I could actually add that to here, too. I'd have to get rid of, like, this isn't gonna help me here. Overcharge. You probably don't need it. <laughs> you have unlimited lights per scene if he has a heart inside? Yeah, I get that. Also, though, he's guaranteed to... Thank you, I didn't need to click that. He's guaranteed to call at least once, so... Yeah. We want to prevent that from happening with all of our effort. Um, I'm not going to use that right now. I'm going to use that for clashing. Ooh. So he is 8-8. Eight, eight. If I could bleed him, that would be nice, but... Oh, well. Don't want to use collision if I'm not the one clashing. Crisis, desperate struggle. Okay. Let's go with that to start. Eh, it did not go well. Okay. <laughs> oh, well. Hopefully we do still kill him. Uh, maybe? Please? Damn it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna restart then. Hold on. I'll replace one of these with an overcharge just to have it. Oh my lord. Alright, let's try that again. Uh... <laughs> Oh, it's a six. Okay, well, I guess I'm d doing collision then. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> you don't win a collision. What's wrong with you? Well, now I'm definitely not going to kill it. You know what? You're right. This is pointless. Hang on. Freaking. <laughs> this is not going well. No need to attack woods, really. Yeah, I know, but it's just hard, you know? 5-5. Five, five. I don't know if I can even win against that with this page. I could overcharge, I suppose. I'm betting that the pages from the new fight are probably really good here. But, you know. Alright. Sure. I don't want to double overcharge, so I'll just cumulus fall against something. And I don't want to waste that go. 
That's fine. The whole point was to get rid of as many of the blocks as I could before overcharge takes a place, so... He's gonna re just recover all that HP. Yeah, okay. Oh, for God's sake. Um... Overcharge that one. Gain one on hit? I don't want you to hit that. <laughs> Though I do need to. Hold on, I need to read this again. It's literally just on attacking, okay. So I gotta overcharge here as well. Right? I'm pretty sure. Because there's no way to get past that otherwise. You have a level one? He's a level one. Stop hitting the trees. They're, they're, they don't matter. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How did you lose that? That was an overcharge. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the Oh Christ, I didn't think of this. I did not think this through. Um <laughs> That's not good. Okay, uh, I wish I would have bled him now. Oh well. I can't stop this. This is gonna be a fail, I can already tell. Let's get as much blade bleed on him as possible. I guess. And he's gonna recover all of his HP. This is awful. Hold on. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna have to come up with a new strategy here. I overcharge is, but I need something that can win the clash, so... What other attack has good enough rolls to win those clashes? Because it has to be the second hit, not the first one. I'm gonna run. I just thought of something. But I don't really want to try it. Make sure you use all of your light? I know. But it's hard to use all of your light. Desperate Struggle isn't helping me. Just give me, like... I don't know. I guess Circus Knives for bleed. Uh... <laughs> That's fine. I don't need to change his deck. You are garbage. Get you a different slash resist deck. Like Salvador. Okay, crack. crack of Dawn. Okay. <laughs> I keep forgetting Crack of Dawn is an attack for some reason. You're fine. Uh, Skyward... Sky, Sky Clearing Cut is probably not bad here because the On Clash lose thing. So let me put a couple of those on him. Uh... Feeble, probably a good idea. I don't have any good people. Zero and one cost is useless in this fight. Bring three cost pages. Oh, right! You know what? You've got a point. I forgot about that. Hold on, let me just redo my entire setup. Okay. Because... You get all your light back every turn. I'm still gonna take that one. Um, 
I, I just completely forgot that that was the mechanic. So, tailoring sharp nails. I gotta remember Brawl, if I'm only gonna have three cost. Uh, there's not really any other good Pierce ones, so I'll take a level well, I'll take a level Um... Help me. Because there's no good three cost slash dice ones. It really sucks. Uh. And the man who made your face into pace? Yeah. Back, how's the fight? Ah! How's it going, Jay? <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm struggling a bit, but I'm doing good. Oh, I want that. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, it's just there's no good slash dice for level 3. Which really stinks, because slash is a really powerful uh, setup. You are going to have, like, the same thing. Crack Dawn. Brawl. There's one I'm forgetting about, and I don't remember which one it is. There's a really good, uh, three cost. I guess tailoring. Bot will the prescript, and then over. <laughs> oh, I don't have overcharge on you. That's right. You're at a tailoring one. Alright, let's try this garbage then. Just use base cards? No. <laughs> hey, time labyrinth. How morning is it go for you? Wrath of Torment, I don't think it's good enough rolls. Turn one, it doesn't really matter what I do. Because he's just going to eat the thing anyways and regenerate all of his health. So, unless I kill, like, two trees on turn one, there's no point in me doing anything. Uh, game? Zoom out, please? Um, <laughs> okay, this is awkward. I really hate this camera angle. That's Those are just attacks, so I don't really need to care about them. Um, <laughs> this is uh, a little bit hard to tell what's going on. <laughs> um, that's, oh, I that's the wrong one first. Oops. Oi. Stop bullying her. I can't... Okay. Irony on Chessed floor is his floor is about differences of people, but his Abno fights can be win by people running the same deck every goddamn time. <laughs> you tired? Why don't you sleep some more? I did try to zoom out. I was at max zoom. <laughs> okay, that's the one I need to win no matter what. I do also want to win that. Um, <laughs> do I have a sharp nails on you? No, I don't. Well. That's just an attack, but I should attack anyways, because, you know. Ooh, I have an extra... Oh, but it's Pro's Light's Blade. I should go. <laughs> Stop paying attention to the tree. Did he have 78 stagger resist, or am I losing my mind? Um. <laughs> uh, 
again, doesn't really matter. Oh, I just gave it to Dragon. Oh well. Give one more heart. On Clash, lose, lose a heart. That's what I need to... Does the heart do anything other than let him attack? No. <laughs> so... I should just, like... I can let him have his heart. I just need to not get him to zero, is all. As long as I only have one person being stunned, I think I'm in a good position. Uh, how do I clash win against this? Tailoring? Maybe? No, a tailoring shouldn't win that. Might just trance pierce. Because Joel's going to get staggered if I don't hit him here. Oh, she's going to get staggered anyways. Well, what do I know? Uh... Okay. <laughs> there's, there's not much I can do about this. Sorry, Joel. I... what? One heart equals one strength, does it? Well... <laughs> I guess I should have read that. It doesn't matter what I do first turn. Except it does. Because I get all my light back regardless. So anything that lets me draw is a good idea to use here. Or gives buffs, I suppose. Though I would have to hit with that, and I'm pretty sure that won't hit. So you should just do nothing, probably. If I can draw, drawing is a good move. Everything else doesn't matter. Also, debuffs. So, his max value is... 7. 7. 7. Okay, it's 7. I, I, I need to stop those. <laughs> that one... I can't do much about that. Uh, It's a good move to use here. I don't have a good move to use here. I'll have to hit those with somebody else. I can't even get to that without overcharge. I need to use all of my light every turn. There's no way around that. I guess I'll brawl and just hope. Because... If I can get Overcharge from Brawl, that would be brilliant. Okay. That's one win. That wasn't Overcharge, and that was Tendon Cords, of all things. My back pops. Uh, <laughs> sorry. You have too much 3 cost, you can't use the second dice. Well, the problem is, what, what are you going to use on the second dice? Oh, Christ. Really? Doesn't he resist? He doesn't resist. Okay, uh, I gotta redirect that. I can't. I just can't. Alright. You know what would be great here? An Emma's page? Probably. Oh, God, I can't even redirect anything. It sucks. 
well just... Oh, I can't take over. I only have three light. Okay. Crack of dawn it is. Why do you do this? Just don't let him get that. Okay, well. Rip Draken, I guess. He's already at zero, and he only just got hit. Yeah, that sucked. Is there another thing that has resist slash stagger? Why am I looking at you? It's okay to have, like, one cost in the second spot, I guess. Collision isn't helping me anymore. So give me one cost that can go there. Like... I guess not in the... No, because that's all dice. Rewind? Rewind would probably be good here, actually. No, it doesn't do a lot of damage. I'm so torn at what to do. Like, I legitimately don't know what I should do here. Are any good one costs that inflict paralysis? These are the only two that really come to mind. Uh... And then... Uh... Why do you not have that? And then... I don't freaking know. Wrath of Torment. Because <laughs> Paralysis is probably good to help here. I'm not using that. Sharp Nails is actually not that good here, I think. So give me those Paralysis things. I, I need to try to inflict Paralysis. I, I am asking for strategies, yeah, because I don't know. I'm going to try with the Paralysis, if I can. Though I do actually need to hit through it. That's another issue. So let's just go with the card. No, you don't need it. Um, so I'll Forceful Gesture into one. Will of the Prescript into one. On turn one. Just for the card draw. Card draw is important. Yeah, you, you aren't doing anything. One dice equals trance pierce. Two dice equals forceful gesture. That's basically what I figured. Oh look, trance pierce. Um. <laughs> that you have one that can beat this. He has a max plus three. I'd have to overcharge to beat this here. So I will. And then on hit gain one? Yeah, that's not happening, sorry. Stop attacking the tree. I, I don't like how the counter dice do that with the tree. Oh, crack of dawn. Nice. <laughs> and I lost. Good. Whatever. Um... Attacking Jewel? Yep. Alright, uh, let's see. Can I beat that? I can beat that with an overcharge, because of course I can. I'll beat it with an overcharge. And then I need a Clash Lose against that. I don't have a Forceful Gesture in this. I'm tailoring it. And then she'll just have to take the Strike of the Axe. It won't do too much damage, thankfully. Really? <laughs> Why does that first dice always manage to hit? Okay, beat that. 
That's gonna do a lot of damage. Though. He just does so much damage, is the thing. Okay. So he has plus two to max rolls. Do I have a trans... Brick off. Trans... God dang it. Why do you always end up being the one against this? You can do that with ink over. Uh... <laughs> Can't even go up against it, which means Joel's gonna get staggered this turn. Those sharp nails on the strike of the axe, I guess. And then also you're a hindrance to get the paralysis. Trance pierce and forceful gesture to lower his heart count. Yeah, I know. But I. It, it's hard to actually get to the point where I can lower his heart count is the thing. Because he just does so much damage and it's really hard to win clashes against him. Alright, I can do that, I guess. Uh, I have an overcharge. He's at minus one for the first dice, so it should hit him. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I don't like that. Um... <laughs> Uh, I crack of dawn to win these, I suppose. Potentially, I, I'm gonna get hit by one. There's no way I'm winning against both. Actually, let me just crack of dawn that one then. Then your hindrance. Just get as many debuffs as I can. This is actually not going badly, surprisingly enough. Okay, I stand corrected. We're doing good here. We we oh nice. Uh, we're we're doing surprisingly good here. <laughs> Joel Library looks like Chessette's sister. She does actually, doesn't she? He is Doki Doki Doki, which is Japanese heart sound effects. Observe really helped me in this fight. That makes sense. Okay, all I need to fuck off. <laughs> of course, it's going after him. I can't do anything about that. I can't redirect it. Um, I'm tempted to overcharge just to take advantage of that fragile. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> uh, it it's risky, but oh well. I need to do as much damage as I can right now. That's next scene. I won't brawl, because the chance of me getting rewind are unavoidable gaze. But I shouldn't brawl anyways, because I've got ink over right now. How many heart? He only has one heart, actually. So I should win with an ink over clash. Win with a Wrath of Torment clash. Ink over does more bleed. <laughs> and then... Oh. Okay. <laughs> Just deal as much damage as I can. I think that's probably the smartest way to handle this situation. I think I think we have a win here. Draken's probably gonna get. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have a win there. When you lose all hearts, he's staggered for two scenes. Okay, well I didn't know that, but I don't think it matters. Draken's gonna die. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna have to hold out a little longer. He has two hearts. Overcharge is not my best move, honestly. I'm gonna brawl it and hope. And then also just you're a hindrance on that. I can't do anything about him killing Drak in this scene. So. Oh wait, no, he has Oscar's thing. He should be fine. I'm an idiot. Oh, he took damage. Uh, <laughs> I don't... I think that was Crack of Dawn I got from that brawl. Okay. I can Transpierce that. Oh, I don't like that. How many hearts do you have? Two? Oh, it doesn't matter. 
It actually just doesn't no. Shit. And I need to redirect the other two. So you have a Hang on. Th this is a. I think this is a win, because what can he do about this? He, he can't do anything here. So we're 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 okay. We we should win. Uh, thank you. Oh! <laughs> Just kill the nerd. Problem solved. Yeah, he was on really low HP. Am I too late to the party? Potentially, Saker. <laughs> um. Okay, let's see. A warm heart. In anger, he swung his axe through the wizard's heart. The warm heart was pulsing vigorously. Single ally. At the start of the scene, boosts the power of slash dice by the current amount of light. So we've got a slash dice floor. Okay. Then lumber. This is a forest full of hearts. No matter how many he cuts down, the forest still remains dense. After dealing 15 or more damage to enemies in a single scene, reduce the cost of the most expensive page in hand by one at the start of the next scene. That doesn't seem very good. And then heart. There will never be enough hearts. Once a woodsman, he now fells people instead of trees. Single ally, restore one light and recover 20% of max HP upon defeating an enemy. Heart abno card just makes she immortal. Yeah, kind of. Because it has no max. So, she cards and slash cards. This place is filled with the scent of coffee as always. Welcome. Today's blend is Indigo Mountain. Want to have a try? Sure. The tastes of coffee aren't all the same. It's determined by a number of factors. Starting with where it was grown, how long it's roasted. When you stop extracting the flavor and how finely the coffee beans are ground also play an important part. Heart plus Lila, kill an enemy, restore 40% HP. She's dead, is she dead? No, Gabura is she. Absolutely. Gabura's floor is better for the she pages. The acidity and sweetness depends on the size of the particle. It's a pretty delicate drink, huh? I just drank whatever they gave me. Wouldn't you say that it resembles the denizens of the city in a way? Proceed to dump trash disposal down enemy throats. A person's identity and values can vastly differ based on where they were born and raised, whether it was the back streets or the nests, and what district of the back streets it was, along with how rough their background was as they grew up. In the streets of music, you may grow into a loser if you can't strike a single chord. In the streets of food and flavor, you might end up being an ingredient. It all depends on the rules of the plantation. That makes sense. Wait a sec. So you're saying each person has a different flavor? It won't give me Rose's page, oh my god. <laughs> well, it is a gold. That's something a District 23 resident would say. You haven't been brewing coffee out of the guests, have you? <laughs> Not much of a romanticist, are you? I'll take that as a joke. I was half joking, alright. Though you never know, anything could happen. Oh! We don't normally get a full screen for them after their awakening scene. He has a whole coffee factory, yeah. Chess said with his custom art. That is a lot of coffee grinders. The technique of mixing coffee of different origins into a single cup is called blending. Through blending, even a low quality coffee can be given a nice flavor. Sociology is a lot like blending when you look at it. I just did a dumb and hit the unfollow briefly. Oh, that's fine. It's a study of managing a society where all kinds of people are blended together. I guess that works. See? And when you blend coffee, you pick out the beans you want and filter away the unwanted ones. Unlike coffee beans, though, people have their own desires too, so they try to enter the blending machine they want. They'd rather go to a more luxurious world in other worlds. Even though they're ground into powder all the same. 
Jess had really said consume the beans. Okay. <laughs> the city and the nest keep whispering to the people, all to get the good beans to come over. <laughs> they want supplements to delicately complement the grandest and the most unique flavor. This is where you can find the true value of life. They make a parade of nest dwellers' prosperity and comfort right next to the miserable scene of losers who were filtered away. That's how everyone is deceiving into selling themselves. Even if it's a facade, it's true that life in the back in the nest is miles better than life in the back streets. Is it really? The wings are constantly grinding people up, almost akin to coffee beans in a coffee factory, no? Every wing paints its nest as the most comforting place in the world in an attempt to recruit feathers for itself. A different set of rules are enforced in every nest, and the back streets distort according to those policies. Everyone is soaked in the greatest and the sweetest lie. They convince themselves that what they're doing is for the best. Convince themselves? There's nothing to convince it is for the best. There's literally no better option than to live the back street, leave the back streets, join a win wing, and spend a stable life in the nest. Hey, I have arachnophobia, how's it going? Then who gets to decide how to blend people? <laughs> you know, that's a really disgusting statement out of context, Jezza. No, is it even necessary in the first place? Do we really need to pick out certain people? Can't we just live as we are as our own flavors? You're talking like it's so simple. Questions like that won't get you into anything other than more questions. Is that so? It is so. Thanks for the coffee. I'll be going now. She's rolling. Analysis <laughs> and librarian. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? <laughs> Empty that shit. Hold on. While I wait for people to ask to be added. Yes, let's get... I want to read the new pages lore, but I have to get them all. Shit. Well, I guess we're doing the fight again. <laughs> Meat please, Kaido? Now I want coffee. Uh, Lotus. I got none of them? <laughs> okay. Lotus. Can I get a cappuccino? <laughs> I thought you were already in one of them, Reaver. I could be wrong. I guess I'm wrong. I don't know. Was the battle that ha happened? <laughs> what do you mean? Also, thank you, Holy Shot, for the follow. Nope. Uh. So, Holy Shot or Lotus? Not Holy Shot. Hold on. I can't speak. Reaver? Can I book one spot in Gabura's team? I guess? <laughs> uh, alright, um... You are fairly new, but I've seen you around multiple times. Slash go burr. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, um... Also, good god. Hold on, let me... Equip lock. I'm not going to use more than one of these, so... And then unequip. Wait, I just got one. Never mind, yay. <laughs> Time to grind warp again? Yeah. That's some good XP. It is some pretty good XP. Also, these sets are all garbage now. Which means I have to redo all of them again. Which one did I have equipped? Me get... Jin. And then J already has. Okay. So, is everything else about these set? I just have to fix Malkuth's. Overcharge is a good attack. 
I'm not going to use it a lot. <laughs> Wait, wasn't there... Yeah, it was World 3 script. I don't want to bring Collision. That's zeros and sevens. High speed. Extract. Faith. And then, I don't even know. I Actually, you know what? Rewind. Good attacks. Okay, let's do it again. <laughs> Let us win the fight again, because I need more rose. There's a strong card if you combine it with all-around helper Abno cards on Yasad's floor. That would be the case, probably, yeah. Can't abuse that change charge mechanic unless you've got certain cards. Yeah, I know, which means I need to get their thing. Because it's only really rip space and then the other thing. Oh boy, this is a bad start. I resist it? <laughs> so I guess. Uh, I gotta, again, once again, I'm gonna take out the people that have the buffs first. because they're definitely the dangerous targets here. All right, that guy should die now. What's this? Dimensional Rift, whatever. Uh, he won't die, he'll come close. Is he going to fuck you up? Yeah, she did not play around this time. I won't get staggered, that's the important part. Stagger? Okay. Are we actually going to finish him off, or is he going to live? He's going to live, isn't he? Yep. Wait, I've still got an attack on Malkia? Our court, please show yourself. I agree. First one, I butchered Rose just to get story. This following at two, I treated more like Index. I want to be... Oh, fuck off. <laughs> really? Marionette isn't a guaranteed kill. Red Notes might be. You have something that can finish off. Yeah. Block that. I know I'm gonna use my light up for that, but oh well. And then I've got this. I, I do think bullying the named guys is a better option, because then you don't have to deal with- I can get their pages later. Okay, that was a good overcharge. Okay, dead. Good. Good. <laughs> I just love that I never get hit when I use over uh, faint memories. Not quite. A drilling you with the big IQ. So is it fine to say now we beat up the time police? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, they nerfed Worker B? Why? Alright. Why'd they work nerf Worker B, of all things? Don't have one. Does anybody have one? No. Well. <laughs> Sorry, Mary, but uh, I don't have much of a choice. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh well, <laughs> can't do much about it. He. Red notes on you. Then I need to clash with her, and then honestly, sharp. No, wrath of torment plus loosen up should finish her off, won't it? How do I want to do this? Yes. Yes, okay. That works. Uh, then I've got to focus on these idiots. I'm not going to worry about you. Go. And 
that's to be expected. <laughs> My health back. She's very dead. Okay, good. I, I overkilled her, but I don't care. And this is gonna hurt. What? <laughs> Alright, I did not expect to win that. Okay, we're in the safer position now. He's very close to death. Um. All the space stuff hurts my head. Rip space is a really good page. Also, yeah. <laughs> this is a guaranteed clash, isn't it? All right. In that case, let's just focus on the guy on the bottom. Will that kill? It should kill. No flashing, it's fine. Hold on. Tailoring is better. That's not gonna do anything to me. And red notes just to ensure that guy dies. But he should die anyway. Yep. Okay. That's so all I needed to give them boundary of means. It's not a that smart of an idea, you know? <laughs> Hurt. Staggered, that's what I wanted. Okay, now we can actually start fighting Rose. And make sure to kill her. Oh. I see. Ripple is the card that you really need to make the charge stuff work. I don't... I don't give a shit. <laughs> um, rip space. I want that to clash with an overcharge. And then I guess I'm clashing ripple with faint memories. Boundary of memes. <laughs> Boundary of memes. Ow, what the frick? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> okay. You know when people were complaining that I have too good luck? <laughs> How many rose books did I get? Two, and I got none of the other named books. Okay. Please, can I have it? Please? I need to do the fight again now. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Alright. We're doing it again. <laughs> Any? Yep, there's one. And I don't have one of my own. Good. I just hope Daring Decision wins, then. See, what's... what the prop... oh, for God's sake. Um... <laughs> okay. the whole update. Yeah, holy shot, we've already beaten all of it. I'm feeling like I'm gonna be sitting here grinding for a long time. Sure. Just deal damage. I, I, it's just, okay, the thing that makes me the most annoyed about this game is the randomness of getting the books. Honestly. God, that was awful. Okay. Well, I tried. This is not going well. Maybe I should just try to win. Will this be on YouTube? Yes. It will. 
I will always upload my streams to YouTube after they're done. Okay, well we get some turns to do something now. Maybe kill the bottom guy? That might be a good idea. <laughs> I don't even know, man. This is a stressful fight. Just end him. Oh, uh, yeah, clash with that. <laughs> Alright, what's that? Rewind? That won't do much damage. Okay. End top guy. Oh god, I overkilled him, I think. Really want to know what abnormality you're hoping to be a boss in this game? I really want to see Mountain of Smiling Bodies on Chessed's floor. And that's my, like, number one wish for abnormality battles. Yeah, I way overkilled that guy. Yes, attack him with the rip space. That is what I want. Oh, for God's sake, dude. What's that? Oh my lord. This bad. <laughs> this is really bad, actually. I can tailoring maybe to block some of it? Or I could end up staggering him before he gets it off. That might be good. Scrap fuel. Any others? No, it's just rip space after that. Um, I have a lot of red notes. <laughs> Won't do much damage to her. You have one strength? How did he get one strength? Do they have a card that boosts strength? Yeah, I already did all of it, actually. I don't remember them having a card that boosts strength. I'm a little confused at that, honestly. They, I can't block any of this garbage. <laughs> Faith, high speed, tailoring. Uh, tailoring on you. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna go horribly, but I don't care. <laughs> We're getting better. That's what I wanted. Rip. Not much I could have done about that. Oh, what the heck? I didn't do, like, any damage to him. What am I doing? I forgot to attack the guy that I wanted to kill. Oh, what's wrong with me? I'm new here, so I don't want to be on a floor until I catch a few more streams. That's perfectly alright. Two more unreleased Magical Girls. One of them was apparently not real. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, for God's sake. Um, can I beat that with anything? Perhaps a tailoring? I guess. Overcome. How much damage do I need? up with the small attacks. Uh, yes. And then I'll also red notes against her. Finish off that guy on the bottom. Alright, will I do enough damage to kill him? Yes. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. Oh. Shit. Well, I tried. Oh, what's this deck? Oh. Okay. Yeah. She should die next turn. Display of affection. Ooh, I want. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wow. Well, thankfully. Um. <laughs> that's gonna be painful for her. What about Pale Girl? Yay, I'm not delusional. Yeah, King of Greed was a magical girl. Okay. 
Oh, that's an overcharge. Um, I wish I could clash with it. Probably gonna get staggered. Might actually kill me. I don't think about it. There's Wrath of Torment. No, actually. Wrath of Torment against her. And then. Extract fuel, <laughs> I guess. Uh, I can daring decision red notes on him. Alright. Nobody even attacked my character. Jesus Christ. Oh, I still lost one. Okay. And that's a stagger. Nope, not quite. Wait, does that mean bottom girl's gonna live? I think it does. Yeah, because she was attacking Malkuth. Well, that sucks. Alright, I see how it is. Can I stagger her before she gets that off? Rip Malkuth, I guess? Uh, I can repress flesh against it? Just in case. I don't think I'm going to be able to stagger her before she gets it off, but I'll try anyways. And overcome on him. Yeah. Leap lost to red notes. That's a first. Eat me. There we go. Okay, that was good. Good turns. Malkuth didn't even die. Lesty. I'm gonna get a lot from this fight, though, because I got a lot of... I got them all the tier 3 before I killed anyone. Oh my lord, stop! <laughs> Transpierce that bitch. Do it after you hit him with faith, bro. It doesn't really matter what I do against her, she's dead. Boundary of memes, anybody? Uh, boundary of memes, anybody? <laughs> I didn't get it. Whatever. It was worth trying. Memes. This he sounds like Lusty. Yeah, I think it's a real name. I'm pretty sure. Dead. And to finish it off. Rose is dead. Story time soon? Hopefully. I want to get them, but I need to actually get the pages in order to do story time. The drop rates for these pages is insanely low. We got them all. Perfect. That means I can burn these three as well. Hey, who's going to be the new librarian? I think... Reaver, I'm gonna make it you. So give me what you want to look like, roughly. Also, I can actually build Chessed's team now. Edits. That Reaver. Save it. Hey! So what do you want to look like while I uh, go look at these, pa empty these pages? No, 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 no. I need to realize this and also empty it. I don't know how many ripples I got. Hopefully a good amount. I'm actually just going to keep all of the non-green pages. Do I still have a... Wait, 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 wait. Lock. Do I have a locked warp cleanup agent? I forgot to lock it. Okay, good thing I checked. Get as many level ups on this as I possibly can. I swear I clicked lock on that. Okay. Slash boost, not bad. Lock this. Thank you. Okay. Holy shot, I will add you someday if a spot opens for you. 
Okay, let's see. Messy silver hair and a reserved face. Okay, gotcha. A height request? What's the messiest hair here? You already got silver hair, so I don't even need to change that. <laughs> oh god, I'm sorry. The hair is already, like, what I would put it as, probably. I guess this one's probably better. Messy, so you want, like, short back hair. And then you set a reserved face. Eyebrows don't really mean much. 163? Got it. Thank you so much, because I've been watching your videos on YouTube for the longest time, especially the ones on this game. Oh, thank you. I really do appreciate that. Like, basically the only reason I have any following at all is because of this game. I should do the mouth first. You said reserve, so... That'd probably be good. And then eyes. I can make them more reserved, right? Do you have an eye color that you want? No back hair looks good? Okay. Yellow eyes, gotcha. Yellow is just green and red. God, that is so hard to freaking see. And then if you DM me on Discord, I can change your dialogue as well, if you want that to change. But I'm not going to do that right now. There we go. Back from textbook pickup. Okay, Jewel, you're just in time for story time. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Okay, this is going to be a long one. I missed all the action. I'm sorry, Jewel. Reaver looks like Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat. So the rest of the floors don't have fifth. Yep, that is correct. Every floor except for Malkus still has openings in the future. All right, let's read this. <sighs> they ain't gonna raise the ticket prices or run fewer trains like last time, are they? What do you mean, Cat? Lobotomy Corp, the company that was supplying our energy needs, went down recently. That's a good point. It's harder to operate the trains with less energy. What do you mean by last time, though? Oh, you're too new to know? Back in the day, L Corp's nest was occupied by another energy company. So that company puttered out and put our corporation into the same sort of energy shortage we're dealing with now? Not quite, but it did it did go bust eventually, but it's more the company that was stingy about sharing its energy. Awfully strict, too. I heard it had a bad reputation among its patterned companies. Partnered companies. Because they were so tight-arsed about energy supply, we had to reduce the number of trains running at the time for a while. I had no idea. Don't count on me, though. I also picked this story up from my superior. There's enough chittering, let's get back to work. Make the skin color lighter? I will. Next page will be Lesties. Shush. <laughs> Dead. Has you got my dialogue? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I have your dialogue already, Darkness. But if you send me to it, send it to me again, I'll check for you. What do I even do with channel points? Not really anything. I don't have anything set up for channel points. Okay, Lesties page. To restore the train, the passengers have to be in their seats. You have to be seated so the scanning program can detect your genomic data and put you back on the right seat. Oh, and the scanner has trouble reading things that are moving too much, so you should be nice and stay still in your seat. So the warp cleanup crew, like us, tidy up the carriages and put the passengers in their seats according to their genomic data. And with the press of a button, ta-da, everything goes back to normal as if nothing happened. 
I only learned this after I joined the corp, but isn't that so cool? That's what we agents do. But sometimes the cleanup crew isn't enough for the job. What's so scary about dealing with humans, you ask? I heard this story from my seniors. One time, a color hid their identity and snuck onto the train. What a shocker that must have been. It's our rule to stop powerful people like colors or key members of associations from boarding our warp trains, or to guide them to take first class seats if they must board the train for a safe and smooth restoration process. We want them to sleep without a care instead of joining in the chaos of the other carriages. That color fixer was super tricky to deal with, they told me. Most passengers started training under the color's guidance in order to attain some kind of enlightenment. All but a few of our agents were pulverized by those people before they could even see a glimpse of the color. But we aren't totally powerless against those situations. We would have gotten into so many problems otherwise, yeah? In case things get too difficult for our agents to handle, we call R Corp, a wing we're partnered with. I saw footage about R Corp in our training course. They were so cool. That was my first time seeing the mercenaries in action. They'd keep pressing on and wipe up their targets no matter how harsh their resistance was. I was like, whoa, they really are something else. The fourth pack. Was it called the rabbit team? Yeah, I think it was. I gotta wonder though, why rabbits of all animals? Isn't that an herbivore? Oh, Jesus. I have yellow now. <laughs> okay, purple. Lesty sounds too pure to be booked. Too bad. She's already booked. It's the train from hell from lobotomy all over again. Yeah, 2,000 years training with a color? That would be a strong person. Okay, sends. You thought opening gates to different dimensions was our singularity? That's actually a former singularity of a fallen wing used to own. It wasn't a very well-known wing, so you probably won't even recognize it, even if I told you its name. Point is, that wing discovered a way to open gates between dimensions. The ability to craft rifts in space. The wing sadly never knew how to utilize that stunning technology they'd found. The nest ended up falling before it could find a proper use for the singularity, and the company now known as W Corp spent a huge sum of money to purchase it. At first, people of this corpse also struggled to think of a good way to use this tech. Even if it could make a big rip in space, entering it was a whole different matter. You don't know what's in there, or even if you can come back. They had no idea, but soon enough, W Corp found a way to put this dimensional gate to use, which involves T Corp's technology. With a device made by T Corp that collects time installed in the train, not a single second really passes in the carriages, even if the train travels for thousands of years. It's the, uh, temporal preservation or whatever. That's what they apparently use, but it's too complicated for me. Anyway, whatever happens in the train, we revert it using the singularity of restoration, and T- Oh! W Corp has restoration. Okay. And T Corp takes the time we collect for their own singularity. We're good business partners. This tech isn't just used for long distance travel. It's applied to the weapons we use too. Equipment used by agents of W Corp is specialized in tearing and cutting things apart. We can precisely cleave lumps into individual pieces with the help of the space ripping technology. Someone hit the Thomas the Tank Engine theme button. They use the train for training, it must be a hell of a unit, yeah. There's a few thousands of people trained by color versus army of rabbits. Not thousands, like a couple dozen probably. It's a whole singularity to restore stuff, not OP at all. Yep. So W Corp has their own way of cheaply given powerful gear. Yep. And Rose's page. Many people are under the impression that W Corp's singularity is quick transportation via teleportation. That's how our technology is to advertise to the public anyway. They aren't strictly wrong, we're just hiding the bigger picture from them. W Corp Singularity is the restoration of a previous status. To put it in layman's terms, even if your body is crushed to a pulp, it can be restored to a recorded date as, state as long as this piece is still remain. First off, we scan the molecular structures, genomic data, and other information of the passengers required for their restoration when they sit in their seats. The scan data is stored in the transmission device inside the train, ready to be sent into the restoration machine. With that, any and all kinds of pandemonium into which the carriages may have turned can be reverted with a single button. The machine has difficulty scanning life forms that move too much, so we need to take measures to subdue it. As with all singularities, it has a small side effects. Some might leave the train with slightly more weight than before, or gain a bit of height. 
No one has filed a complaint about it, likely because the change is so minor that they just shrug it off as a matter of feelings. Like the body feeling lighter because of their excitement for going on a trip, or it feeling heavier because they ate too much prior to boarding the train. The passengers don't remember what happens inside the train, but that's not because we use amnestics. It's the restoration procedure reverting the people's memories to a previous state rather than selectively erasing them. In plain language, everything goes back to how it was when it was scanned. The passengers will continue the conversations they were having when they first boarded the train as if nothing happened. They won't notice any oddity or displacement in their dialogue. Any thoughts they had or words they were about to speak will be restored and resumed seamlessly. Alrighty then. <laughs> Okay, put me on the train, I'm gonna be slender, man. <laughs> uh, we know three of the R-Corp packs. They're the rhinos, the reindeer, and the rabbits. We don't know the fourth one. People were speculating that it was the ravens, but I don't know if I trust that. L-Corp had ego, W-Corp has its portal guns. Yes. Yeah, W Corp Singularity is save stating in real life. That's like, they basically, okay, so what I think it is, T Corp needs to have a long period of time to get their energy. So W Corp sends people into a different dimension for thousands of years. Sorry, arachnophobia. I, I don't have a choice anymore. So yeah, W Corp sends people into another dimension so that our, no, T Corp can get energy. T Corp then provides the energy back to W Corp and any one of their other uh, partners. Then W Corp is able to bring the people back. So really it's cruel, but it makes a lot of sense. T Corp collects time. Yeah, that's what I took from, it did say that. Also, I should empty these, shouldn't I? I want to see how many ripples I got, because those are the only important page from this, really. So we got... 99 leaps and 99 rewinds. Okay. <laughs> sure, I'll accept that. 88 dimensional rifts. Wait a minute. Okay, we, we have rip space, that's good. And then five ripples and 84 overcharges. How's the update treating you all? It is, it's a good update, but I don't like the fight. Cause the fight has a lot of RNG to it. If you have bad RNG, you just lose. But anyways, let me unequip that for now. That's everything for today. <laughs> Two and a half hours? That's about the same distance length as all my other streams of this game. So I think I'm going to send everybody over to Karenai. He's also playing the new update. Don't spoil anything for him. Uh, <laughs> but I appreciate you all for coming out. I appreciate all the support I've been getting on the library streams. It's actually nuts. And uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day, everybody. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.